guys, this is Jen Frost with Faith and Fabric. Welcome back to our fourth free, fri free motion Friday. That's a lot of Fs to get out. Our fourth session already. I can't believe we've been doing this now four weeks in a row. I hope you guys have been learning a lot. I've been learning a ton as we go through this. So let's get started on our fourth week. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a new pattern called Abraham. The Lord took Abraham outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, will your descendants be. I think of this every time I go outside and I see all the beautiful stars that are out there. This is such a lovely way to honestly remind us that we are all connected together. We all belong to each other. We are all part of the same family. And so it's just a nice, a nice reminder of that. I'm going to be deviating a little bit today in how I sew. So normally I've been using those practice pads I've been sharing with you guys, and you've probably made some from the tutorial out on the blog. Uh, today I'm going to be using our uh, love letters little pattern. I love the way this turned out. It's so cute. But you'll see I've got a lot of space here in the background. And if I'll bring this close to the camera here, you'll see it's all made up of these tiny little white stars, which is perfect for today. So I thought we would go ahead and sew some free motion uh, stars to fill the background. When you're making your stars, there are three tips to keep in mind. First, you want to have distinct starts and stops to keep your stars nice and sharp. You don't want to overlap your lines as you sew, or you're going to end up creating loops. And you want to try to keep the length of the stars or the starlight the same to create consistency within your quilt. You'll see if you look at the diagram here that one of the keys to really making this design work well are keeping your lines straight and always starting and ending on your center point. In the first example, you'll see we start those starlight lines by first going to the left, then straight back up to the right and back to the center. In step two, we're going to be moving more on an angle. We'll go to the left, to the right, and back to the center. In step three, we'll make that third line. Again, coming down towards the bottom, straight back up to the top and ending at the center. And then to come out of your stitch, you're gonna create that strong straight line that comes straight cleanly out making sure that your line stays consistent with the way you entered into your star. Let's head over to the machine and get started. So to start this, I'm just gonna go at a nice comfortable pace. And just like we wandered a few weeks ago, I'm gonna wander and then I'm gonna come to a stop and I'm gonna first make my horizontal lines in my star. Coming right back to that center, then I'll make a diagonal going one direction, back to the center, diagonal in the other direction, back to the center, and then I'm gonna come straight back out of that star to get ready for the next one. Okay, side to side. Um, I'm trying to make a consistent pattern. Again, muscle memory is great. Left to right, top left to bottom right. We go top right to bottom left, and then back out straight, and then the wiggle. So when you get to that wandering phase, you definitely want to keep it straight as you're coming in and out of that star. Um, what that's going to do is make those top lines really look like they're part of the star itself. So that way it's like the, the starlight is radiating. So you want to be very careful about not starting the wander too soon when coming out of those stars. So one tip I want to share is you'll see I've come to the edge of my quilt mat here. Um, I don't want to be sewing into the pink, but I've come to a corner here and it's going to be a lot harder for me to shift side to side. I find for me, it's easier to shift my fabric forward and back. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pivot here and turn. And now while I'll have some side to side movement, the majority of my movement, the majority of my fabric is down this direction and I'll be able to very comfortably move it forward. So that's another tip to keep in mind. As you sew, you may want to be changing the direction that your, that your practice pad, that your quilt is facing to make sewing a little easier for you. So let's take a look and see how it turned out. I love it. So you can see there are some lovely little stars just gently mixed and mingled all the way into the star background border. By using that same technique we used last week of the same tone on tone between the thread and the fabric, it helps them just blend in gently and softly. It doesn't make them overly a focus, but when you actually look at the detail on the quilt, you can see these amazing little stars that just really shine, especially with the same shape of the stars in the background. I love the way that came together. 
on the back. So I haven't clipped any of these threads, um, but you can see overall, you've got a very smooth shape design that just kind of meanders its way all the way around. Now, if I look at my fabric and my design, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, some of my stars, and I'll show you up close here. Some of my stars open up a little bit. That's okay. You know, um, I don't notice it. I think it just kind of adds to the natural look. It, it doesn't bother me. Um, I found for me the biggest trick to getting this done evenly was that, that muscle memory that we talked about earlier of starting, you know, going one direction to the other, top to bottom on one side, top to bottom on the other side, and then straight up and out to move on. Um, I think because we've done the meandering now as well, that pattern, that style really helped itself uh, growing comfortable with it to this pattern as well, because you are kind of meandering and just adding some stars. So this was a nice, easy one this week. I hope you guys enjoyed sewing. I look forward to seeing your stars of Abraham. And may we continue to always take care of one another. We'll see you next week.